In this video, I will talk about OnViv protocol that makes possible to connect IP cameras and devices from different manufacturers. So, just keep watching. Okay, let's talk about OnViv, very important for IP devices uh, such as IP cameras, NVRs, DVRs, access control system. If you want to put everything together to work together, you can use OnViv, even if they are manufactured by different companies, all right? So let's talk about it. So here we go, OnViv, it's a global and open industry forum, meaning you have members that participate on this forum, okay? It's a global open standard for the interface of physical IP-based security products, meaning cameras, as I said before, cameras, uh, NVR, DVRs, and access control system, and allows the communication between those IP devices, okay? So you have cameras from different manufacturers, you can make them work together, for example, no, not only camera, but access controls, NVR, DVRs, and also software, so, all right? So let's work on an analogy here. A comparison, let's say we have a guy, he's, a, he's German, okay? And then you have another guy, he's Brazilian. So they start speaking to each other. This guy say hello or something like that. Uh, sorry guys, I don't speak German. Sorry for my, for my pronunciation here, for my German, <laughs> all right? So this guy say hoi, oi, and oi means hi in English, right? He's Brazilian, he says oi. And the communication is not possible here because they speak different languages. So they need to find some language that's common for both of them. So the idea is that this guy speaks hi, he's speaking, he's speaking English now, right? And this guy speaks hi also. So they are communicating now because they're speaking this, the same language, a common language that is English, right? So that's the idea. You just change from one language to another language and you can communicate, right? The same happens here with the OnViv protocol. So let's see an example here. You have the camera, you connect the camera to NVR. That's the NVR that can connect cameras directly. It has some ports here. Let's say four ports, for example, you can connect four devices directly. And I connect a second camera and then I connect to my router and I connect here to my laptop. And then this manufacturer A, and this is manufacturer B. So let's say, for example, here is Samsung and here is Bosch. So this guy is, speaks uh, Samsung protocol and this guy speaks Bosch protocol. They speak different languages, right? They can't communicate. So the idea is, is that there is no communication between them here. So they must use something just like OnViv, right? So this guy is OnViv, this guy is also use OnViv, and uh, they are also using the correct profile. Let's say profile S here and profile S here, and now they can communicate, right? So that's the idea to use OnViv, not only OnViv, but also the profile, right? So here we go with more information about OnViv. It's founded in 2008 by Axis, Bosch, and Sony, has more than 500 members, more than 5,000 products. So the idea is to have compatibility according to the profiles. Profile S, for example, it's basic. It supports video, audio, and PTZ control. So you can control your camera remotely using a joystick or something like this, just using OnViv protocol. Profile G supports storage. Let's say you have a software and you want to record information on a SD card using your IP camera, and you want to retrieve the information from the SD card using a software. And the software is different uh, from the camera. They are from different manufacturers. You can use Profile G to communicate and retrieve video from your SD card. So make sure your camera and your software has Profile G if you want to re record video on the card and retrieve video for, from the SD card, right? Profile Q supports device discovery, discovery on the network. Let's say you have a lot of devices on the network. You don't want to go manually finding one by one. You can use Profile S, or Profile Key, sorry, with OnViv to find the network, uh, the device on the network. And Profile T supports H.265 codec. Codec is the compressor. You can compress more using H.265. 
There are a lot of manufacturers are already using H65, but it's not compatible with OnVIF yet. Uh, it's under development. Uh, there's a release candidate to date, right? As I'm recording this video, it's not ready yet. It's not implemented yet. Perhaps when you're watching this video, uh, could be someday in the future, could be already implemented, right? But to date is not implemented yet. And uh, if you want more information, always visit my blog, learncctv.com. There I have more information. I always update the articles there because this is a, just a video, right? I can't come back here to this video and update the information unless I record a new video. So in my blog, I have more information, updated information, okay? And here's an example of how to use OnVIF. You go to onvif.org. And here you can look for the products, let's say profiles. So you look for the profile you want. First thing here, you, you select the device. That'll be the camera, for example. And you select the profile, let's say profile S. You want to make sure if your device has profile S and then you look for the manufacturer. Let's look here for a Samsung. Here we go, Samsung, that's now Hanwha Techwing. Okay, here's the version. If you want to look for different versions, I would just hit search. And here we go, it brings me the results. So here have the cameras. Devices are the cameras. Six, uh, have, uh, seven, six devices here available. So it's a lot of them. I just can pick one here to take a look at the information. Let's pick this one. Here we go with the information about OnVIF, Profile G, and Profile S in this camera, all right? Here's the version number, the date of certification, and here's some documentation. Pretty simple, right? Let me just close this. Take a look at another one. Let's see, I want something with Profile G. Here we go, and check S, check G, and here we go. So here I have 17 OnVIF devices, compliant. Let me see this one. Here we go, Profile G, and also has Profile S, okay? Let me close this. Now let me change here, look for a client, meaning software or recorder that has a Profile S. Let me search again. And here I go with the results. So I have different uh, softwares and recorders here. Okay, let me check this one. It's an NVR, it records with Profile S. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? You just come here and you look for a device and you can make sure that it's compliant even before you buy it, okay? An extra information about OnVIF protocol. This is the uh, table of the members, right? You can be OnVIF member. You can have some privileges like uh, be observer, user, contributing, or full member. Usually manufacturer are full member, OnVIF full member. And of course you have here uh, the fees. You have to pay 500 USD, 2000 US dollars, 10,000 or 20,000 US dollars to be compatible with, uh, to be a member, sorry, a full member of OnVIF. All right, that's all for today. Now you know how to use OnVIF protocol, connect different devices from different manufacturers. And if you want to learn more, just visit my blog, learncctv.com. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up and leave your comments. See you in the next video.